Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today's video is a little different. I know it's not the typical how to write C++ video. Actually, I'm going to talk about my Raspberry Pi because, well, it's a Raspberry Pi 3, to be specific, and because, really, I had no clue what it even was about three months ago. I think I got it about two months ago off Amazon. Um, and the reason I got it, actually, was to... Um, day trade, I guess, cryptocurrencies, and I would put the software on it and just let it do its thing, um, and the reason I used it versus, you know, my desktop or something is because... It used a lot less power and it put off a lot less heat, um, believe it or not, than my desktop. Because I don't know if any of you have ever seen a Raspberry Pi, but I'll put a, a video of what it looks like, um, or mine specifically, right here. And it's super tiny and super energy efficient. Um, so, yeah, it's, I just want to make a quick little video and how cool I think it is. So, right here, I'm actually was in the midst of um, changing my desktop background because that hurts my eyes. I used to have a picture but for some reason that was deleted. Uh, there we go. Look how cute that is. But yeah, pretty much it's just a small computer and you can put different operating systems on it. Right now I think this is a version of what's called Raspbian. Um, which is, you know, Raspberry Pi's own operating system, I believe. Uh, but you can also do, I used to put Ubuntu, I think it was called, was it called Ubuntu Lite? I don't remember. Maybe it was Lubuntu. Anyway, it was a version of Ubuntu, but it was like a lightweight. Uh, this sounds exactly like it, but... I'm not I'm not too sure, but anyway, there's a version of it. It looked beautiful, worked really well. Um, but Raspbian was the only version that worked with my cryptocurrency trading bot software stuff. Um, by the way, if you want to see a video more in depth on that, uh, the cryptocurrency stuff, let me know. I can do that. Um, but I just wanted to show you how cool this thing is. So it even came pre-installed with, uh, with Python. Not that that's a <laughs> like a huge deal, but I bought this thing for. Actually, I'll show you on Amazon later. Um, so if we want to put like, God, I can't even type. Print. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, but I bought this thing for. Let's go on Amazon. I'll show you the exact kit I got. Um, it was about seventy dollars total, and I think it's just a cool way to just kind of mess around. Um, you can even—I think I saw people like attach a breadboard or something to it, and you could program it to send electric signals through different ports or something like that. And uh, you could put a light or something in the breadboard. Woo, you know. But it was kind of cool, I guess. Um, not something I would do in my free time. Is this thing gonna go? This is a good example, guys. Uh, the problem with, I guess, running my uh, cryptocurrency bot is it takes the majority of oops, takes the majority of the power of the um, of the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's not the most powerful thing, of course, when you're getting it for was it like forty bucks without the kit, just it. Um, but, you know, it's something cool to just kind of mess around with. By the way, I'm also running TeamViewer. Um, it's just a way to look at what's going on without having to hook it up to a monitor. You can just monitor it wirelessly. Come on. All right, let's try this again. I'll 
show you the exact kit. Uh, I also link it below. Um, if you want to check it out there. Let's see. It'll be in the. Uh, as I can't even spell berry pi three. Yeah, it's this one right here. So you get all of this. You get a 32 gigabyte. This is essentially its hard drive right here. This is where it keeps everything. Um, you get two little heat sinks uh, to put on the CPU. Um, you get a case. You get uh, a power cord. <laughs> Though this is just a micro uh, USB. So, And you get an HDMI cable. Um, and, of course, the Raspberry Pi itself. All for... 70 bucks which I think is really a steal honestly for um, what you can do there are also other kits um, if you already have a memory card perhaps you could get this one and it has a clear case that's pretty sweet actually uh, though you could always switch out the case um, later on but it's honestly really cool uh, I believe yeah it even has minecraft on it I mean let's let's be real it's gonna uh, outdo the MacBook Pro. Um, of course, I'm just kidding. The MacBook Pro is obviously more powerful than this thing, but um, it's pretty sweet that has Minecraft on here. <laughs> I, I haven't played it, but I'm assuming... We d do we have to pay for it? I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, uh, overall, I would say if you're interested in just messing around, this is the part right here um, that you can hook up wires to. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cool little device that, uh, you know, just a little mini computer. And, um, you can even emulate your favorite retro video games. I think they have an operating system called, uh, RetroPie or something like that, which has, you know, NES, SNES, uh, PS1, I th think, Genesis, and all, N64, I think, is on there, Game Boy all on one operating system they have all those emulators so it's really cool um, if you're interested like I said I have a link below and also if you want to see more on the cryptocurrency trading bot and how I run that and uh, what it does really um, also let me know that'd be cool I think that'd be a cool video too but um, anyway yeah just something a little different I want to do something a little a little different than just the coding videos um, not that those aren't fun, but uh, that wasn't all the channel was intended for, I guess. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good day.